Okay, I'm sort of in the process of cleaning up and I've got something here that I actually bought this the day I went to pick Josh up from the airport. That was back in June. <laughs> so that's long, how long it's been sitting out here. And it's a uh, cutting torch cart. I went by, I had never been in a Harbor Freight store and I was down there and I just saw one, you know, on the way into the airport and I had some time to kill. And I thought, I'll go in there and look around and I wound up buying that baby. It was cheap. At least by my standards, I thought it was cheap. So I was thinking of replacing this one. This one is very cool. It has a lot of cool factor because it's an old barrel hand truck from a factory around here somewhere. But as far as functionability, it's kind of, eh, you know, those little tiny wheels just sink right down in the dirt when you try to roll it out in the yard and cut something with it. And I saw this thing, I think it's like 50 bucks or something, and I thought, well, dang, that'd save me 50 works worth 50 bucks worth of backache if I was using this instead of that. So I decided to bring it home. I'm not sure if my propane bottle is going to fit on there. I might have to modify it a little bit like I modified that one, but uh, I figured it was worth a shot. So I got it home now, and uh, I guess getting it out of the box and putting it together would be a good step in the move toward uh cleaning things up here so let me uh let me put y'all somewhere where you can kind of watch and we'll get it out of the box and we'll sort it out so pretty much all i did over here was just see all this crap well this was kind of all along the edge of my wall here and it was all sort of decorated with old batteries old car batteries and old gallon jugs and one thing and another get all that junk out of the way you can see quite a bit of junk over on that side all of a sudden you got a lot more room to walk and stuff so i was going to be putting this thing together but i got to thinking about well i was going to raise the lift and use the lift for a table then all around the lift was so much crap you couldn't walk so kind of got sidetracked and decided to do a little cleaning first i've got some piles out here i got the rag pile cardboard box pile plastic pile and this pile which is i'll sort out whatever's in there and the rest of it will be garbage so anyway we're making some progress i think what i would do is just lift the lift and uh that give me a chance to kind of use it as a table and also sweep out from under it while i'm uh, putting together that little uh that little propane tank stand so might as well go ahead and do that now I think I'll go get my big broom out of the other garage and give everything a good sweep out. And then maybe a shovel to shovel up what's left of this stuff.
Okay, there sits my cart and that looks pretty good. The next thing is going to be literally getting this to fit in that because I have this propane bottle instead of a regular uh, tank. It may, uh, it may not fit, but I don't know if I'm gonna mess with that yet because that may involve some fabricating. What I may do instead is move this stuff out of the way, let my lift down, pull the Ford in here, get the Ford up in the air, and mess around with those shocks like I was talking about earlier. That might be a, a better thing to do because I could mess with that cart anytime. As it is, I can get it out of that box, put the back box in the back of the truck to go to the dump, and I can roll that cart around in the back room here, and then we can uh, get on with our work with the Ford. 